All right, well, we got a confirmation. It is Friday, and here's something you don't see every day. A good old Highland Games and Scottish Festival happened in Oklahoma. It's starting today, and you can head to the Sterling Classic Scottish Festival. And, of course, we have to see who has what it takes to be a Scot. Now, hmm. as you can see, our Paul Stanley is outside. I'm going to go ahead and say I don't know if he has it, but, Paul, prove us wrong. How's it going? It's going great outside. All things are Scottish and we're having a great time. We're with Jonathan and we're going to be talking about the Scottish Festival. So tell me all about it. The Scottish Festival, the, the Sterling Classic in Yukon is going to be a culmination of uh, athletics, uh, food vendors, merchandise vendors. It's basically a big state fair wrapped up in a kilt. <laughs> yep. That's the best way to put it. Mm -hmm. Now, how long have you been doing this event for? Uh, over 15 years yeah, right there in Yukon, Oklahoma. Yep, it's been great. Why Oklahoma for this? How does Oklahoma fit in? Well, when the Celtic people came across uh, fleeing Scotland, Ireland, and the rest of the places, uh, they looked for land, basically. And what they didn't find in the, uh, the west side, they, uh, I'm sorry, the east side, they came down to Oklahoma for land run, settled most of Oklahoma. Mm -hmm. So we have a big Scottish heritage, including our photographer from uh, that heritage. That is correct. Yeah, and he, he got us killed again today, but we'll try to get him next time for sure. Yeah, but having these people here, you know, the collaboration of everybody has made Oklahoma great, really, the Celtic people. Yeah. What kind of events do we have going on? We'll be contesting all nine events today. Two stones, two weights, two hammers, sheaf, and whatever bar, and caber, which is the biggest one everybody wants to see. Yep. And they're going to show us some back here, right? That is correct. Yep, they're going to do just a short demo, just to kind of let everybody see what they're going to be going on. Uh, there'll be a weight throw, a hammer throw, a sheaf toss, and a brain marsh throw. Wow, it all sounds heavy and very over my head. So let's give it a shot. Let's see what we got. All right, we're going to start over here. And what is this called? This is uh, lightweight for distance. It doesn't look lightweight to me. All right, let's give it a shot. Wow, I'm so glad it went that direction. <laughs> for a second there, I did not know. I thought maybe Rob and Caleb paid him something to throw it at me. All right, so what do we got coming on next? We got the hammer, the Scottish hammer. This is the lightweight Scottish hammer. Which sounds like a great pro wrestling name as well, the Scottish Hammer. That's what our photographer Landon goes by. All right, let's see it. Wow. And our satellites may be going out if he lets go of that. So, <laughs> all right, and what is this thing? Uh, this is the sheath toss that we do. We do it over a weighted bar. So let me show you how we do it. It looks like you just kind of made your own little barn animal friend and then decide just to throw it around. Wow, has that ever hit you on the head? Uh, no, no, get out of the way. <laughs> but for TV, it was gonna make for great television. And finally, what do we have over here? This is stone put, just like shot put, like in track and field. So I'll show you and give it a go. But that's a lot bigger than the ones that you in track and field in the Olympics. Bit, yeah, yeah. it's probably why your arms are getting bigger than the uh, most Olympians. Oh, All right. And they have 117 athletes for this, the most they've ever had. As soon as I sign up, Rob, 118 athletes. Wow, that went a long way. <laughs> yeah, there's a big dent in the ground right now. Yeah. And what do you have? This is kind of the junior hammer. This is more my speed. All right, let's see how you do it. Tell them how it's done. <laughs> We're saving the best till last. Wow. So they start off this size, they end up that size. So that's what happens when you're Scottish. So back to you, Robin Kayla. All right, man. <laughs> Having Look, a lot of fun. They definitely are. The Sterling Classic Scottish Festival starts today with the calling of the clan, 7 p.m. to 10 p.m. and Saturday and Sunday. It's 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. through Sunday in Yukon. And for more information on what can you what you can expect, I should say, you can head to the SterlingClassicSF.com.